We get in the water almost every day of the week. We get in to do maintenance on the exhibits, generally to clean. We'll vacuum out the gunk out of the sand. Uh, we'll scrub the acrylic, scrub some algae off of some of the rocks. Uh, but sometimes we do uh, help the aquarists get a good look at some of the fish, uh, just to make sure that they're healthy and we can report any closer looks to the veterinarian if we need to. Um, I have always been conservation focused. Um, I think part of working in zoos and aquariums, part of our responsibility is to connect people here in Ohio to places like the ocean. Um, people may not think that things they do here do have a direct impact on our oceans or our waterways. In fact, all waterways eventually do lead to the ocean. So things like picking up your trash, making sure it doesn't end up in our waterways, um, using things like uh, reusable Tupperwares or reusable shopping bags, things that help reduce our litter and our impact on the environment around us. Everything is connected in this world and so it's important we take care of it. I started off as a guest experience associate here at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium and sometimes I would help out the divers on the dry side while they are cleaning inside and eventually I decided I wanted to become one of them. So I talked to our dive safety coordinator, Allie, and she told me all the different steps it requires to become a scuba diver and I took those steps and now here I am at the Greater Cleveland Aquarium the newest exhibit diver. I always wanted to be a marine mammal keeper growing up and part of the job qualifications at most places do require that you are scuba certified. That way you can clean and dive and inspect exhibits, make sure it's a safe environment um, and healthy environment for the animals. So it was part of the certification I've always needed and I've always had a love for water. So it kind of just went hand in hand and something I enjoy doing. Uh, the process to get scuba certified is uh, a combination of things. You start with some learning courses, uh, which you do on land. You uh, either online or in person take some courses that teach you the science of diving and the different skills you need to know to be a, a safe diver. Uh, once you've completed those courses, then you start by doing some pool diving with your instructor. You practice some skills that you need to make sure that you're safe while diving. Once you're checked out with those dives, then you go into the open water with your instructor um, and make sure that you are set on all those safety skills and then you can just have fun. Normally when you're out in the ocean, the waves are crashing and you will have to get past that first and you can go much deeper in the ocean and the pressure is really what's noticeable. It's not as bad in the aquarium because you're only going a little bit underneath the water. Most of my dive experience is in an aquarium setting. Uh, you really get a good feel for those specific animals, whereas when you're diving in the open water, you're not sure what fish you're gonna see, if any. Uh, so you kind of have to be more attuned to those different environments the different currents in the water, the different depths in the water, whereas diving in an aquarium is more of a controlled setting.